So hello, I would like to welcome you in my new video. This video is going to be about how you can uh, make decisions and form your opinions and do your research if uh, maybe you are hesitant about uh, maybe what kind of political party you want to vote for or what kind of nutritional approach you want to have or what kind of exercise you should have or you want to form your opinion about various topics from like psychology or whatever is interesting for you and you just don't know how you should form your opinion because you feel like maybe there's a lot of like contradictory information on the internet and you just wanna like make sure that you are being critical uh, also, if you are interested in topics from personal development or self-help, uh, you can subscribe to my channel and I post videos once a week, so um, I would really like to make it interesting for you. And also, if you have some requests for my future videos, you can let me know in the comments. And so, uh, now to the video about how to make opinions. I would like to point out something that I noticed uh, that most people they actually making uh, their opinions in a very strange way. Basically, uh, if imagine a person who just wants to find some information about whether or not they should change maybe their eating habits or their nutritional habits. And basically what they have now is they have option A and option B and they don't know which of these two options they should go for and so maybe they are instinctively somehow like predecided for one of these options this is what I see a lot in people is that they're gonna tell you that they're gonna make a research about something but they already know how they're gonna decide even before they're gonna make this research and so they're not going to the research with this clean slate but they're going for the research with uh, already made decision and what's going to happen to these people is something that is uh, in psychology this is called confirmation bias which basically means that if you approach your research for some topic in this way what's going to happen to you is that when you're going to predecide that yes you I have no idea if you're going to go in nutrition for option A or option B but you already know that you want to go for option A and now you're going to go to the internet you're not going to look honestly for the truthful resources of information you're gonna look only for sources of information which are gonna support the option A which you already chose so you're gonna type in the search engine something in the lines of the advantages of eating this way or what are the upsides of eating like this or what are the minerals and vitamins I can find in this kind of food and uh, what are the positives and long-term positives of having this kind of lifestyle and this is the way how you're gonna look for information what is gonna happen inevitably and this is like you have to know this even as I'm telling you now is that you are only gonna find out websites and sources of information which are gonna be talking about advantages of this kind of eating and the minerals and vitamins you find in this kind of eating and how it is amazing to be eating this kind of food and uh, you're not gonna find out any kind of information on how this can be damaging in the long term how it can be damaging if you exclude certain kind of foods from your diet and how can be what can be the long-term effect on your health you're not gonna find any of this because you already made your mind a long way before you even started doing this research of yours while if you came to the search engine and you weren't already decided what is your opinion about this stuff you would just go and you could just type in yes the advantages but then you would go and you would type what's the disadvantages of option A and you would find a lot of information that would actually tell you that option A in food is not as good and it has a lot of downsides maybe it would give you some resources about people who actually was uh, eat, were eating option A for like a decade and then they dropped it because they found disastrous uh, results and disastrous effect on, on their health and so they dropped it and you could read all information about this if you just googled it in this different way or maybe if you 
took option B and you would write it in the search engine and also if you looked for advantages and disadvantages of option B, you would also find completely different results about this. And what would happen if you did, did an honest research for this topic of nutrition that you were searching for is that you would get so many information from both sides that you couldn't be able to decide straight away and even if you made a decision straight away you would know that it's not so black and white and what would happen to you is that you would no longer be aggressive about your decision because a lot of the times I see that on the internet especially today and it can be also about nutrition that people they decide for a certain kind of nutrition and then they are really pushy about it and they're just gonna push it into your face and they're gonna tell you that this is the only ultimate way how you should uh, nourish yourself and then there are gonna be people from the other camp like uh, from option B uh, that they also gonna tell you on the internet why is this option so amazing and why you have to eat like this and why it is so beneficial and none of these people from these two camps they are not gonna tell you what are the disadvantages of the nutrition that they promoting the problem with this is that both of these camps option A and option B they have a lot of truth in these camps but also they have a lot of falsehood in there and what you should do if you are deciding about your own health is that you should keep in mind that the best thing how you can form your opinion is to actually listen to all the contradicting information and actually find your v wisdom in there and be really analytical and critical about it and form your opinion like this and not to go and be really prepared about what's your opinion gonna be long way before you even start making a research because that's not gonna be a good research and this is not a good approach about how to find information about anything what is also a lot of the times happening to these people who are just so set in stone about something they make this like one way uh, decision about something like let's say that this person which I spoke about this person is gonna pre-decide that they want option A they're gonna go look on the internet they find all confirming evidence on option A and so they're gonna be like oh I'm so right option A is the right solution so I'm going for option A and what's gonna happen to these people is that they're gonna the longer they're gonna have this opinion it's what's gonna happen to them is they're gonna encounter with some people who maybe don't have this opinion and they're gonna like talk to them and these people are gonna tell them some contradictory arguments but these people because they are so set in stone they're not gonna wanna hear it so they are gonna become even even more aggressive about their decision and this is I think this is called backfire effect when actually they're gonna become even more set in their opinion even though at the beginning they were just oh I'm so happy that I chose this variant but now like a couple months or years later they're just gonna be so heavily ingrained because they met all these people who were contradicting them and they were so strongly uh, fighting for the truth of their opinion that they become more and more set on it and it's becoming like a part of their self or I don't know how to explain this in words maybe you're gonna know what I mean maybe you observe this also in yourself because if you spend so much time defending something then it's just gonna be become like a part of you and what's happening a lot of the times to these people who are really extreme about something is that even if one day they would like with this nutrition let's just say this example with nutrition maybe these people were so heavy on option A but and they were defending it against everybody but one day they're gonna maybe have a medical checkup or something like that and they're gonna find out that it's damaging to their health maybe they're not gonna feel good with their body maybe they're gonna crave something that they forbid themselves to eat whatever is gonna happen and now maybe these people are gonna slowly realize that maybe for their own body it was it would be the best thing to switch to option B after all these years which they were option A defending option A now they would like to switch to option B but they realize that it's not so simple because first 
uh, it's really difficult for them to change their mind on its own because it, it became a part of their personality, this option A. And second, it's also difficult, and I think this is maybe even more difficult than the first part of it, and it's that they became maybe known for this way uh, how they eat among other people and now they would come and they would tell them oh i completely changed my mind now i'm in option b camp this can be really difficult because what's gonna happen is that people the other people around you if you're gonna do something like this if you after some years you're gonna change from option a to option b people who are also in option a they're gonna give you so much crap about you changing your mind that it's just unbelievable and the reason for this is not because they would be evil maybe you're gonna think of them like they are evil because they're not gonna let you change your opinion but because they are the same as you are the same way you were so stuck on your opinion for so many years and you were defending it and attacking other people for having different opinions and or having heated discussions with them on the internet or in real life the same way these people after you switch to option B they're gonna give you these heated like comments and uh, like reactions to you because you changed it and now maybe you're gonna start defending option B and uh, my point for this is that maybe and this is just a suggestion uh, I think what's actually the best thing you can do is try to keep yourself from extremes because a lot of the times you're just gonna defend something uh, so much that you're not just you're just gonna start you stop being open about the possibility that you might be wrong because the truth is that you always have to be open to the possibility of being wrong because with anything you are basically saying you ha always have to come with the fact that maybe you are completely wrong and maybe one day one person is gonna come and they're gonna tell you something that you did not know and you're gonna be like oh <laughs> like I didn't know this at all and if you were really honest you could maybe tell this person that they're right and you would have to drop some ideas you had in your head but this is a really extremely difficult thing to do and you shouldn't do this like all the time like somebody comes to you and tells you like something new and you immediately drop your opinions and believe this person this is also not a good strategy what I'm saying you here is that you should like approach any idea that anybody gives you with curiosity and so if you ever enter a discussion about nutrition and you all you already know that you are option B option A all the way but this person is option B and they're gonna tell you something new you can always like approach it with curiosity and ask them like really like uh, how is that possible or where did you find that or do you have some evidence for that and be really interested in that and only after if you find it really interesting you can then come home and really check it for yourself and maybe what you'll notice is that this person was actually wrong and they were just interpreting the facts in a wrong way and after you do your own research you will realize how it is and that it still fits into your model of reality which you have and therefore you don't have to change your opinion or maybe you come home and you do more research and you realize that you have been wrong and in this way it's not you shouldn't be ashamed of changing your opinion the reason why people are ashamed of changing their opinions is precisely what I described throughout this video. It's because they became extremist about their opinions. They have been defending it really emotionally for a lot, a lot of time. They have been aggressive about it, maybe. They had heated discussions. They were defending it to the death. And now it's obvious that it's so difficult to change their opinion if they have been like that. And so I would love to see more and I don't see it as much as I would like to. I would like to see like people discussing things in this calm way where they can entertain the possibility of being wrong and entertain the possibility of the other person being right but also the other way around. This is, and I know this is really hard thing to do but keep in mind that you're not alone in this and it's just so common people doing this and you shouldn't be like 
mad at somebody for doing it because it's just so it comes so naturally to people you know be swept by their emotions and be really emotional about their opinions rather than being rational about them and so I'm not saying that you should be without any opinions whatsoever I'm just saying think more carefully about how you present your opinions and always entertain the possibility of being wrong and uh, also be kind to other people try not to have heated discussions uh, and try not to damn people for having a different opinion than you do because it would make this world a much better place if people weren't so heated about like every opinion that they have and so that's my message for you I will look forward to your comments uh, if you have any questions about this topic I know this is very for me this was really difficult to film this video I had to start several times I'm not even sure if I expressed myself really well and so um, I really look forward to your comments and maybe in the future I will make a new video about this if I find that it would be good to expand on this topic a bit more but for now I'm gonna leave it to this and so uh, that's everything for me have a nice now have nice discussions and I will see you next time with my next video bye